Good morning. It's Monday, November 11th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Sometimes It's Hard to Sing a New Song, in our scripture, Psalm 98. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has done wonderful things. His right hand has won a mighty victory. His holy arm has shown his saving power. The Lord has announced his victory and has revealed his righteousness to every nation. He has remembered his promise to love and be faithful to Israel. The ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth. Break out in praise and sing for joy. Sing your praise to the Lord with a harp, with a harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the ram's horn. Make a joyful symphony before the Lord, the King. Let the sea and everything in it shout its praise. Let the earth and all living things join in. Let the rivers clap their hands in glee. Let the hills sing out their songs of joy before the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with justice and the nations with fairness. If you're suffering through physical or emotional pain from the middle of a great loss, it's difficult to even entertain the notion that rejoicing and singing a new song is possible. And if you're a Christian believer, a follower of Jesus Christ, the guilt of feeling that way becomes an additional burden. What's a sufferer to do? New things are big things, aren't they? Just in my lifetime, the advent of computers, man stepping on the surface of the moon, civil unrest leading to civil rights, think Obama, communications jumping from a 5-inch screen to 90 inches with color, no less, and now a president who's at odds with everybody and an oversight committee blinded to anything that doesn't lead to impeachment. Against that backdrop, the psalmist is telling me to sing a new song, shout loud praises, and celebrate righteous judgment with the whole creation. There's a word for that. What? (laughs) I believe Israel's prophets and Jesus' apostles might have wondered about that word. Consider the circumstances of those who devoted themselves to God most excellently. Old Testament prophets Joel and Amos were clubbed to death with sticks. Micah was executed by Israel's King Joram. Habakkuk was stoned to death. Ezekiel and Zechariah were killed with swords. Isaiah was put to death with a saw blade. They cut him in two. In the New Testament, the apostles Peter and Andrew were crucified. Matthias was stabbed to death by a crowd. James the Less was clubbed and stoned. Paul was beheaded. Only John, of the original twelve, died of natural causes, but only after he lived in exile, working in the coal mines of Patmos. In Scripture, we are often reminded that the just, those who trust Christ, live their lives in faith, not by what they can see, hold, or spend. Singing a new song or rejoicing in what you can't see is seeing with God's eyes. It's seeing through the pain and anguish that life sometimes brings, trusting in God's ultimate goodness and purpose. None of the patriarchs, prophets, or apostles lived to see the fulfillment of God's promises. Come to think of it, neither have any of us. Jeremiah preached from a pit. Paul spent his last years in prison. John breathed coal dust until he was 90. Isaiah watched as they brought the two-man saw across his belly. And countless Christians huddled in a frightened chaos as Roman soldiers opened the gates that meant the hungry lions were on the way. Sing a new song? Yep, that's exactly what the Christians did when the lions were let loose. They went to heaven with a song of praise on their lips. For you today, sometimes it's hard to sing a new song. Sing anyway. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.